going to demonstrate the inserting and dwelling catheter in a female patient. First, we are going to position the patient in a dorsal recumbent position. And after that, we are going to open the catheter tray on clean bedside table while maintaining a sepsis. Then, if necessary, put on the clean gloves. So, we are going to put clean gloves. And after putting our gloves, we are going to pick the drape from the top of the catheterization kit, touching only the corners of the drape. So we are not going, um, we are not allowed, and it's not necessary to touch the um, the the drape on its center part. Okay. Then we are going to um, put this under the patient's buttocks. We are going. Can you, mom, please lift your feet if possible so that the drape can be slide under easily? Okay. Do not touch the center. And after that, if used, we can remove the gloves and done the sterile gloves. So now we are done putting the drape under the patient's buttocks. Now we are going to place penetrated sterile drape to the patient's over the perineal area. Make sure that um, you are going only to expose the part, the genitalia, okay? Okay. After that, we are going to place their catheterization tray on the sterile drape between the patient's thigh, okay? So this is my tray, then let's just assume that I already put it on the on between my patient's thigh, okay? Now we are going to open the sterile lubricant, lubricant and lubricate the catheter tape with the physician order. So we have here our lubricant that we are going to lubricate the catheter tape. And 2% lidocaine gel can also be used for lubrication. Then open cleansing solution and pour over half of the sterile ball or open antimicrobial cleansing swabs. Then we are going to open the sterile specimen container. Okay, this is the shoe. And take note that we are not, we should not um, test and to inflate the balloon without inserting it first. Then now we are going to place non-dominant hand on the labia minora and gently spread to expose this to expose urinary, urinary meatus, okay, so our non-dominant hand is now considered to be contaminated. Then we're going to visualize the exact location of the meatus. So during the cleansing and the catheter insertion, do not do not allow labia to close over meatus until after the catheter is inserted. After that, we're going to use a sterile hand, pick up saturated cotton ball with sterile forceps or antimicrobial swab. We're going to um, cleanse the urinary meatus with a downward stroke. Okay, we're going to cl cl cleanse it, downward stroke, and let's start here. Repeat this step three to four times. Then this side, and for third is in the middle, downward. So now we are going to use a dry cotton balls to absorb the excess antiseptic solution. Okay, this cork. Okay, now with the sterile hand, pick up the catheter approximately 3 inches from the tip and place this little catheter and into the sterile basin. Okay? Then, if the catheter is attached to sterile tubing um, and drainage container, which is the closed drainage system, we are going to position the catheter and set up with easy reach on the sterile field. Then, make sure the clamp on drainage bag is closed. Then, we are going now to gently insert the catheter into the urethra approximately 2 inches until um, the urine begins to drain. If no urine appears, have the patient cough or position the catheter by rotating it, okay? Then have patient take slow deep breath during the catheter session. Okay, now I'm just going to insert now. Just inhale, then exhale. Po. Exhale. Just relax. Just relax. Gently insert the catheter. Then insert the catheter an additional 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters. Then we already uh, inserted it and now we are going to inflate the retention balloon with a preferred syringe. Then check to ensure the placement of gently pulling on the catheter. Okay. Okay, now we are going to inflate the retention balloon with a preferred syringe. Okay, so... Make sure... Okay, we're done. Then after that, we can check to ensure the placement by gently pulling the catheter. Okay, so we can feel the resistance there. So it is, it means that the retention balloon is been filled with a um, the sterile liquid or water. Now we proceed to the connecting the distal end of the catheter to the drainage bag. 
But in some kit, um, the catheter is already connected to the drainage bag. So some nurses prefer to connect equipment before catheter insertion. So I prefer connecting it before the catheter insertion. And after that, we're, we're, we're going to secure the catheter tubing to the patient's inner thigh with a Velcro leg strap or other securement, securement device with enough length of the catheter so that it will not pull when the legs move. Okay, so let's just assume that you already um, use a strap or tape to secure the device. Then we're going to attach the the drainage bag to the bed frame, ensuring that the tubing does not fall into the dependent loops and the side rails do not interfere with the drainage bag. So we're not allowed to, it's not advisable to put in the in a side rails because it has a tendency to be moved or okay, to have movements, okay? Now I'm just going to remove my gloves and perform hand hygiene. After that, we are going to record the time of completion of the catheterization or the procedure, size of the catheter inserted to the patient, amount and color of the urine, and any adverse patient response. For the catheter removal, the equipment that we will be using are clean gloves if needed for care and uh, removal, waterproof pad, bath blanket, 10 ml of or larger syringe without needle, then we already um, we also need washcloth and warm water to perform perennial care after the removal, and available urine for male patients, bedside. Um, commode or urine output commode pan for female patients for urine collection after the catheter is removed. Okay, now I am going to perform the removing of an indwelling catheter to my female patient. So first step is to follow steps 1 through 5, then position the patient for catheter just like what we did on the catheter insertion and do not drape the patient so that only the area around the catheter is being exposed. Then place a waterproof pad under the female patient's legs or over the male patient's eyes. Okay, under the female patient's leg. Okay, then we're going to clamp the catheter, so it is optional. Then after that, we are going to remove the, uh, the securement device used to secure the catheter, okay? Then after that, we are going to insert the halves syringe into the balloon um, inflation tube of the catheter and allow syringe to fill with the, flu the liquid, liquid from the balloon. So here we are not um, we are not going to pull the um, the syringe anymore to allow the to withdraw the liquid. So size of the balloon is indicated on the catheter. Most commonly, sizes smaller than 10 ml are used. Then larger balloon 30 ml may be used after prosthetic or urologic surgery. Okay, to ask the patient to breathe in and out deeply. Then we are going to pinch the catheter and move slowly and gently as patient exhale. Okay, ma'am, just breathe and relax. Inhale. Then exhale. Okay, just exhale, ma'am. Slowly. Okay, so we already have the the catheter. So after that, we are going to place the catheter in waterproof pad and wrap in pad. Place the catheter in the waterproof pad and we already okay. We already wrapped it and now so we're going to assist the patient to cleanse and dry genitalia. Okay, ma'am. And after that, can you move this? Let's remove their gloves. Then let's assist the patient to a comfortable position. Then place the gown over the patient and cover the patient with the bed linen. Okay. So now we are going to put on clean gloves. And after that, we can um, remove and dispose the used equipment according to the agency policy, then measure and document green drainage bag and the time of the removal, estimate when the patient should void within 8 hours. Okay, let's dispose it. Then after disposing, remove the gloves and perform hand hygiene. After performing hand hygiene and removal of the gloves, we are going to document the time of the catheter removal, time patient should, um, should void, and any... Um, any adverse signs or symptoms.